Former To Catch a Predator host and all-around TV good guy Chris Hansen is in some legal hot water involving a delinquent debt, broken promises, and a whole lot of mugs. Hansen turned himself in to police in Stamford, Connecticut on January 14, 2019, after a warrant was issued for his arrest over allegedly writing a series of bad checks. According to law enforcement documents cited by TMZ, Hansen bought a ton of custom swag for an undisclosed purpose from a mom-and-pop place in Stamford in the summer of 2017. His order included 355 mugs, 288 t-shirts, and 650 vinyl decals. However, he never paid off the nearly $13,000 bill. In a four-page arrest affidavit obtained by the Stamford Advocate, the owner of the store in question, Peter Psychopadis, claimed that Hansen initially wrote a check to pay off the invoice in full three months after receiving the order. While Hansen allegedly apologized after the check bounced and offered to make partial payments, the owner had yet to receive any money by April 2018 and filed a complaint with the Stamford PD. According to the affidavit, Hansen said he'd make a statement at the Stamford police station, but he never bothered to show up. An investigator named Sean Coughlin chided the TV journalist, saying, I told Chris that I understood that he may have trouble, but that nearly $13,000 is a lot of money to a mom and pop business, and it is not fair that he accepted the material but hasn't paid for it. Around that time, Hansen allegedly wrote a second check, which also bounced. He reportedly sent an email to Psychopadis shortly after, writing, I truly thought I had this covered. I am scrambling to get it done. Please give me till the end of the day. I sold a boat to cover the rest of this. I need to pick up the payment this afternoon. However, the Crime Watch Daily host apparently couldn't raise enough cash, so he turned himself in. After being charged with larceny, Hansen was released from jail without bond, promising in writing to later appear in court. According to the New York Post, if Hansen is convicted of this Class D felony charge, he may be fined up to $5,000 and face one to five years behind bars. As of the making of this video, Hansen has yet to publicly comment on his recent legal trouble. However, the eight-time Emmy winner shared a snapshot of the Los Angeles skyline on Twitter just hours before news of his arrest broke, writing, weighing an early morning run while there's a break in the LA rain. But first coffee. Hansen presumably drank that coffee from one of the 355 illicit mugs he had on hand. Meanwhile, several random Twitter users smelled blood in the water and were quick to address the irony of Hansen's arrest, considering he made a name for himself by exposing potential sex offenders on his popular hidden camera show. This guy, for example, went with the most obvious burn, writing, hopefully the check you wrote to the coffee shop doesn't bounce. Oh wait, well this person took a more cantankerous approach, tweeting, how about running out and getting a second job, rather than steal merchandise? But Hansen surely has a thick skin by now, considering his line of work. It's not a reality TV show. It's not journalism, that's for sure. Meanwhile, a sympathetic few expressed their support for Hansen's apparent hardship, with one fan advising, Keep your head up, sometimes things happen. Go out and catch some more bad guys. It's unclear as of the making of this video why Hansen needed 13 grand worth of swag bag filler. One guess is that he might need the freebies as rewards for another Kickstarter campaign, like the one he launched in 2015, which even included custom director's chairs. But considering it cost him at least one boat and earned him a new cycle worth of bad press, we doubt it's been worth it. But we're sure Hansen will get to the bottom of his financial woes and be back fighting crime in no time. If not, well, sometimes things happen. You just can't worry about everything you do. You just gotta live your life, stay in good shape, and go do what you do. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.